millions and millions of Java applications are in production today. Let's take a running Java application, ASonic. ASonic is a web-based media streamer providing access to music. You can use it to share music and podcasts and listen to them. It is a Java web app running on Tomcat. Tomcat is running as a service on Ubuntu Linux box. The Java app uses MySQL as the data source and the local file system for storing and loading media files. Let's open this app. Welcome to the Azure Podcast, a weekly podcast to keep you up to date on what's new on our cloud platform, Microsoft Azure. Your host, Cynthia Crane, Evan Basil. Let's ask a simple question. How do you migrate Java apps to containers and cloud? At Microsoft, we want to make app migration a quick and easy experience. Azure Migrate's new app containerization tool helps you containerize your Java-based web applications and migrate them to containers on Azure Kubernetes service. Using the tool is a simple three-step process. The first step is to discover your applications and its configurations. The second step is to build the container image for your application. And the final step is to deploy the application to AKS. Let's see how to use the tool to migrate the AirSonic music streaming application to AKS. From the app containerization tools web-based interface, I first discover the web apps running on my app server. The tool discovers the app configuration and dependencies by connecting to the app server. I select the app to containerize and review discovered configurations. I can parameterize app configurations such as database connection strings and move content folders or directory paths to persistent volumes. With the discovery now done, I then review the generated Docker file and can further customize it before building the container image. With the app container image build complete, I'm now ready to deploy the app in AKS. I specify the deployment values for the parameterized configurations review the generated Kubernetes deployment spec and deploy the app to AKS from within the tool. As part of the deployment process, the tool creates the Kubernetes resources needed for the app and as described in the YAML file in your AKS cluster. Let's go ahead and play the same podcast on the migrated app that Asir had played before. Welcome to the Azure Podcast, a weekly podcast to keep you up to date on what's new on our cloud platform, Microsoft Azure. Your hosts, Cynthia Crane, Evan Basilic, Sujit Damal. And there you have it. Using the Azure Migrate App Containerization tool, I was able to take a Java-based web application running on servers, containerize it through a templatized process, and migrate it to AKS. That's how easy it is to migrate your applications to AKS. The app containerization tool generated reusable artifacts. For example, the Docker file. Another one is Kubernetes deployment descriptor YAML file. The migrated Java app is captured on the left inside the content folder. Now that the app is in Azure, you can continue building the app using tools that you're familiar with. From IntelliJ to Maven to Git to Terraform, anything that you're familiar with. And you can make your apps even more cloud native by installing Zero Trust. Securing apps using Azure Active Directory, enable end-to-end -end monitoring, automate everything from provisioning cloud resources to deploying, drive higher utilization of apps using autoscale, accelerate apps using cache, incorporate higher availability, and build disaster recovery. Anyone can migrate Java apps to cloud today. Start now.